utter disbelief and utter outrage. Jenny Pitcher says she was floored when a Fulton County judge granted Jason Hall a $100,000 bond. He's accused of killing his fiance, Kelly Huber, on her 36th birthday in January of this year before fleeing the scene and having an hour long standoff with police. It's like he's just going to get away with it is what it seems like right now. And it's appalling. She started a petition to get the judge to revoke the bond after she says she got no response from the court. The district attorney and the judge did not return 11 Alive's multiple calls for comment, but court records show Hall bonded out and was released. Kelly's former partner, Anton McFarland, says he doesn't understand how this happened. I'm sorry. I, I really, really don't know what to say about it. I, it's, it's beyond words sometimes. But attorney Chinway Foster, who's not involved in the case, says it's within the judge's discretion to grant bond, even on a murder charge. That's what we have the justice system for. You go to trial and if you're found guilty, you're going to be in jail. But that's not the purpose of bond. In Georgia, judges decide bond based on the four aspects known as the Aliyah factors. Under that criteria, a defendant is entitled to bond in a felony case unless the state can show the defendant is a significant flight risk, poses a significant danger to someone or property, is considered at risk of committing a felony before trial, or is considered at risk of intimidating witnesses. Pitcher says based on those factors, Hall should have been denied bond because he threatened his ex-wife. Court records show there were multiple calls to police. According to email records obtained by 11 Alive, police in Roswell were so concerned about Hall's behavior, they asked police in Walton County to patrol outside his ex-wife's house just 48 hours before Hall allegedly killed his fiancée. Pitcher says she's frustrated he was still released. It's basically telling any other person who wants to commit a crime in Atlanta, well, if you do it in Fulton County, you'll probably get bond. Hall is on house arrest and must wear an ankle monitor at all times. At this point, his next court date has not been set.